these are my uh, the three solar powered vehicles in the house uh, the one on the far right is, uh, is from a kit. Uh, the one in the middle is from a kit as well, from Pitsco. Uh, and uh, these are assembled by my wife for uh, young, uh, young women, young girls, uh, for the Association of Women in Science. And um, the one on the far left was uh, built recently by me. And uh, it's a um, it's a zip zap that's been um, modified with a, uh, a a landscaping. Um, you see the light came on because it's no longer gathering sunlight. Uh, it's a, a just a landscaping light. Uh, it has some some uh, circuitry in there used to charge uh, a 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride or a 1.2 volt rechargeable battery uh, and if we look inside of the uh, the zip zap that yellow in there is is a, a capacitor that also happens to be 1.2 volts it's a uh, hundred milliamp hours and so this uh, this solar powered vehicle um, uh, is charging energy or is a uh, charging and, and using energy um, similar to the other two. It's fairly overcast day so there's not quite enough power for uh, direct drive but uh, this is what I've been doing with my unemployment. Uh, I've made a solar powered zip zap um, and then here are a couple other... There, there's, there they go! That one's taken off with the little burst of sunlight we had there. It's direct drive as well and go on. Go. Can you do You go. Go. Maybe a little bit. There it goes. We've got a nice burst of sunlight now. And, uh... Oops. Not quite enough sunlight for direct drive, but the, the capacitor will, will store up a little bit of energy and I'll be able to go in Hits and spurts. Oh, maybe it's just stuck on something. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. So, uh, oh, it's run out of juice there. Or it's gotten stuck on something. There you go. I hope I haven't bored you to tears.